Hello, everybody. My name is Nick Turner. I live in the UK, and I've been working with Wi-Fi for about four years. And whether this is a quirk about being in the UK, but the majority of the work that I've been doing has been AP on a stick, on site. So designing as I go, moving through my through the site. So as a result of this, the tripod that I use has played a big part in my job. So what I'd like to do is run through a couple of the tripods that I've used. So day one started off with a very basic speaker tripod. Very bulky, but very stable. Very wide foot span. So this tripod, I'd always have to close the tripod legs down to move through doorways, and this was a problem. During the time that I was using that type of tripod, it wasn't a big deal because I carried around this huge Peli case with all of the gear inside it. As for mounting the AP onto this tripod, there was a T-junction, used a Cisco plate in this scenario, used Jubilee clips to hang the AP. <coughs> and this particular tripod broke down into three pieces, but I'm sure you've seen this type of tripod before. I'm going to post a blog article with all of this detail in it, but the most important stat that I'm interested in talking about here was the stability with a 3600 AP on top. That's just the one that I used the most of the time, and it was heavy, okay? With that tripod, I was using the TerraWave battery pack, which is a heavy beast, I'm sure you know, and I would carry that around in a, bat in a camera case with a shoulder strap, sling that over my shoulder, close the tripod down, move to the next location, set it up again, okay? So a year or so later, Mark Julia of Digital Air Wireless recommended the Manfrotto Ranker stand, which is a lighting tripod, completely different beast altogether. Much lighter, much more professional looking. And the most important thing about this tripod is the attachment at the top. Now the best way I can describe this attachment at the top is a multi-angle spigot receiver. That's a spigot over there on the right, and you use these in the film industry quite a lot. And it gives you the ability to efficiently mount that AP to this tripod. So this is how I did it. It was with a short length of microphone stand leg. Again, Jubilee clips, Cisco plate. And there we go. The advantage of this one is you could also tilt it if you wished to. So there it is. And in this picture, you can see that I've also mounted the battery pack and PoE injector to the base of the tripod. And this was using a cheap and cheerful mount for a, a phone onto your handlebars of your bike. But this worked. It worked. And it was nice because it was a single, single unit that I could move around. But the leg span was still quite wide. So I still would still have to collapse to move between locations. Another thing on this tripod. It's air dampened, so when you release the center column, it comes down slowly, does not fly downwards, okay? So here's the spiel for this one, and most important thing, stability with a 3600, very stable, but still got a wide leg span. So we mentioned what I was doing there, and that's with, the, that's with a tracer battery and a Liga Wave PoE injector, and I've done a blog article about how I put those bits together. So. Now, an honorable mention. In July 2015, I went to assist a colleague, and he had this tripod, which is the wheels from an office chair, a painter's pole, and it worked really, really well. It blew me away. In this office, in this carpeted environment, the maneuverability that this gave was amazing. So this played on my mind for the weeks after I'd worked with Craig. And so I started working out how could I how could I make my own tripod that looks looks professional, but also has wheels, and I don't have to collapse each time I move between AP locations. So on eBay, this is a this is a photographic this is a background light stand, but it comes with very short. So I modified this using uh, some poles from the hardware store. These are actually curtain poles curtain rods, and this rig worked. The, the top attachment was not anywhere near as good as the Manfrotto Ranker stand solution, because I had to manufacture this elbow. 
looked like this. And there was no air dampening. And on one occasion, it fell too quickly, stressed the joint, and then it was loose. But you can see it in the wild. And it did work. It did work. And it proved the point that to be able to move the AP between locations without having to collapse it each time was worthwhile. Cheap cheap and cheerful components in this one. Here's the spiel for this one. But this one was not as stable because the leg span was shorter. So after a while, it dawned on me that actually the Manfrotto was the way to go, and I could just modify that Manfrotto tripod to suit my purpose. I'm going to post a separate blog article detailing how I modified the tripod. But I shortened the legs. I shortened the spreader struts. And here you can see that same Manfrotto tripod with shorter legs. Manfrotto also, manuf they also produce studio wheels for this exact tripod model. And these wheels, not only when you lock them, they do not only lock uh, rolling, but they also lock the rotation. This enables you to stand the tripod up when it's collapsed. And this tripod works. It's very sta it's stable enough. It's stable enough. So this is what I have used now for the last year or so of on-site work. And I haven't been able to think of any genuinely worthwhile improvements to make, which is what I like to do. I like to tweak it and try to improve it. So the, the last thing that was remaining to be improved was the method by which the battery and PoE injector connected to the tripod. I'll also just mention quickly the Wi-Fi stand. I think of all of all the improvements that could come, Wi-Fi stand would place the weight of the AP above the center column and add a little bit of extra height. So I think that would be well worth investigating. So now quickly, just want to run through how I've been fixing the PoE injector and the battery pack to the tripod. I've got no affiliation with this company, but I found this company after many, many hours of Googling, trying to find the product that I wanted. And so a company called Quadlock, they make the, this system for locking your phone or any device to something else, be that a bicycle or an armband. So what I did, I used two of their bicycle mounts, the 3M sticker pad that came on the Universal mount fell off after three weeks, so this is now being bonded on with Araldite. I didn't want to use glue or a destructive method for fixing the battery, so I bought the cheap iPhone case that I could find, and I strapped it to the battery using some silicon rubber bands. But these snap onto the tripod in a secure way. So here we have it connecting on. And so then my final point I'd like to mention, you see the Ethernet cable there. Uh, there's a blog article on this one as well. But for powering your AP, in my situation, I, I'm only, I only need to, need to provide power to the AP. So four pins is fine. This is just a telephone cable. And now I've got the coiled AP, uh, sorry, coiled cable for that. And this is what it looks like. I've brought the tripod with me. And if you'd like to have a look at it, it will be at the back of the room. So feel free to come and have a look. And that's it. This is what I've been using for my AP on a stick work. Thank you very much.